Hi, I'm Warcraft Free Tutorial and today we're going to take a look at some cool scripts which helps us to convert ripped models with animations from FBX to MDX. So first we're going to start with where I can download the script. So at my Discord server there is this um, link here for this awesome tool which a guy made and you can download it here by clicking on that one and then these two match uh, max batch anim load and max batch anim save so when you download those tools both of them then you're gonna open up your max folder your base folder from max go to the scripts folder here and then go to the startup folder and place both inside here so after starting 3ds max because you have to restart it when you're already when you already run it when you restart it then you will see that nothing changed so we have to go to um, customize customize user interface here then go to toolbars then do, to main ui and then here to the animation script so here are those two then we create here a new button you can call it however you want i call it right now test and then you're gonna hold left click and drag and drop the button in here so now we're gonna drag and drop it in and then we're gonna move it inside here so this is your um, button i have already um two of them that's why i can delete it yes and delete that one here so so after we installed it we can try and um, start to prepare the things that we need for um, combining the animations so that means we're gonna open up a model i'm gonna use that one here and then just use any animation you want so then press ok so it loads in the model right now and then the first thing what we have to do is check if there is any bone or mesh that has there, they are like um, we need to check the names, but um, that they that the mesh or two bones have not the same name, or we run into a bug. So that means we press Control A, like here, and then we go to Animation and Save Animations. As you can see, if it's not working correctly because something has the same name, better say it say right now it's duplicated, then you get this error message here so we need to find the mesh or the bone which has this name to rename it i'm looking right now for the mesh here and when i rename it to mesh so and press ctrl a again and then go to the animation save animation and now you can see the window will pop up which we used um, in our um, other tutorial before and it says that we can save the animation right now as xaf file so that was the old way how i did it now with the tool i got a new way that means i'm gonna select everything and then i place a key manually by the at the end and at the start frame like this so and then i go to save as searching for the folder where the animations um, should be saved so then go into this folder here um this one here so animations and as you can see i already made a lot of animations right now and then i just add a new one called um test animation so save okay so but what i did off screen was um is making all these things for different animation as own max file like i show you before right now so and the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset our scene yes reset our scene one moment please okay after resetting our scene we go and import the model again but from t pose or better say the animation t pose after we saving all animations in a different max file we're gonna reset making a clean scene 
with no with T post in it. So while it's loading, we have to wait. Okay, so and then we're gonna um, select everything or uh, better say it doesn't matter it selected everything sorry it doesn't matter so then we go to the uh, max batch anim save and open the script here so it uh, you can see there is nothing in that means we have to click on browse and search for the folder which we saved the max animations files so with all the separate animations in so that means download to do 50 models and then need cape one and then animations here this folder here i saved all the max file animations in this folder here then i press ok and as you can see it can read the max files so for me just clicking on everything here except this one here because i need it later so um i selecting all the animation which i saved as max file and then click here on the save button so as you can see now it's run through all animations which we saved as max file and it will save it as the clip file as xaf file which i showed you before by loading by saving the animation as so the program does the whole work for us and we have just to wait until the script is done done as you can see it can take um, a little bit but that's totally fine for it so the next thing what we're going to do is closing that one because we don't need it uh, anymore then we reset the scene don't save yes because it was in a max file in from one of our animations and then we re-import the t-pose again So, no animation. Okay, so now we imported the T-Pose again. Then we're gonna press Ctrl A again to make sure we select everything. Then we set a key at frame zero. And then we're gonna take the max batch anim load script here it's the counterpart to this one here to the saving script and then we're using bros then we search for our folder again where we save the max anim file the animations um which we saved as max file sorry and there are right now the xaf files the script the animation clip files in it because of our um, other script here that means we go on to open them here cape on animations here so as you can see it created out of all the max files the xaf files here and it's really really important that you not try to make and um, to create the xaf files directly it's the script the script is meant to make these um max files or better say to read them to create the xaf files for your scene that means you should not change anything of this um, way which i show you right now so and what we're gonna do now is selecting everything here we can choose relative or absolute in that case i need relative then the insert frame i like to insert it at frame 10 and the times between the animations that means i like that it's have 10 frames between every animation which it's load in so one one first check is you should know that um, the script will automatically create the animation nodes based of this animation names here. That means when I go to the graph editor to the dope sheet and take a look here into the objects, you can see there is no track view 
no um, animation, no track view, and when you go to the Neodex Extra and to the Sequence Editor, to the Sequence Manager, Sequence Manager, sorry, and then you can see there are no sequences in. So now I'm selecting everything, every one of my animations, and then I click on Load, and then we just have to wait until the um, script loads in all our animations. So it loaded every animation in with a difference from um, uh, 10 frames each animation. So as you can see, there are all animations in and you can see a little bit of different from the scaling in some animations. And it's very easy to fix this by clicking on the first bone here and then go to the curve editor like that, making it big. And then you should select here the scaling hold control then you can select some more and then you select everything here except the first frame holding control again and then delete everything and now when we go through you can see there is no scaling issue anymore and the good thing is when we look at our neodex extra the sequence manager you can see it created all the animation nodes are ready for us. That means the only thing what we have to do now is making the model a little bit bigger by selecting the first bone again, the uh, this one here, scaling it up like that. More, a little bit more, so like that. And then gonna linearize the bones, gonna selecting everything linearize apply to selection sorry for my slow commuter right now it's because i am uh, making this video this makes my commuter a little bit slower and then we're gonna have to select the hip bone and unlink it and then we are ready to go to export it so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, you can write down in the um, sorry. Um, if you have any question, you can write down in the commentary section. And if you and you can also write me on Discord. Yeah, and I hope I see you soon. Bye bye.